Nearly 70% of Republicans believe the presidency was stolen. If you genuinely believe that, no wonder you're angry. But for some candidates, it's also a useful election strategy. Hi, Arizona. I'm Carrie Lake, the Trump-endorsed candidate for governor. If you're watching this ad right now, it means you're in the middle of watching a fake news program. You know how to know it's fake? Because they won't even cover the biggest story out there, the rigged election of 2020. Now let's send the corrupt news a lesson and turn them off. What is this? Sparrows Creek, we're looking for Tenderfoot. You could live on Rattlesnake Way. I've been invited to meet Carrie Lake, who's pressing the flesh in Wickenburg, north of Phoenix. There's nice big American flags. It's a retirement village in the desert. This is great. Hi. I want your hat. Hey, Hi, Catty. Nice so nice to meet you. Yeah, you I've got a good hat, you too. Yeah, nice. You need it out here, right? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a Carrie is in a primary battle to be the Republican candidate for governor. Do you think I could get a coffee, Martin? Yes, yes. May I take one? The event is being hosted by Rick and Denise. Behind us is a lot of pastries on that table. I do not need to eat that much. <laughs> Help me, please. All right. Here in a little bit, we'll be announcing Carrie's arrival. And till then, mix, mingle, enjoy, get to know one another, and have a great time. You can't win a Republican primary without older white voters like these. This is a good turnout, Rick. It, it is. I think we're pretty close to all of them being here right now, so. And you're a fan of Carrie's? Oh, yes. Big, big fan of Carrie. W what is it that you like about her? She's not a politician. We've got some that are in the race that have been, uh, been in politics a long time, and they haven't, they haven't achieved anything. Carrie and I have something in common. We're both TV anchors. So nice. Hello, everyone. Hello. Gorgeous neighborhood, but even better looking people. Thank you for being here. She's such a pro and a household name here. For over 20 years, they've watched her on the local Fox TV channel. You guys got a great community. Do you all live here? Awesome. But last year, she traded in journalism for politics. I made a very difficult decision to walk away from my career. I realized that the work had become immoral. This field has gone full propaganda and they're lying to the people and I'm not interested in being part of that. And so I decided to throw my hat into the ring. That's music to Trump's ears and he's endorsed her. I'm so blessed to be able to call him when I need something or when I want to talk to him about something. And I said, I'm getting the Trump treatment out here. Every day there's another hit piece on me. I have the media going after me. You know, we've got the media here. I'm about to do an interview with them and I hope they're fair. I am not afraid to take these people on and we need to start taking them on. They've been lying to the people of the world. We're not gonna let them pervert our elections and tell us that right is wrong, wrong is right, up is down, down is up. Is that a shot across my bow? Without honest elections and a secure border, we no longer have a country, and we're not gonna let Arizona go. We're gonna save it. It has to be done. But Carrie has come under pressure recently. Her opponents have seized on the fact that she once donated to Obama's campaign. Being new to this party, and per your own words, with no experience, how did you manage to get Trump's endorsement? I've been a Republican, registered Republican, almost 30 years. For four years, I registered as a Democrat. I took a chance on a newcomer named um, Obama and was disappointed like a lot of people. People are waking up left and right. And I'd rather be on the side of people who at once maybe have 
crossed aisles and voted the other side, like President Trump, Ronald Reagan, Carrie Lake, versus Liz Cheney, Mitt Romney, Jeff Flake. President Trump knows a fighter when he sees one, and he knows a winner when he sees one. So I'm really honored to have his endorsement. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are you serious? That's so nice. Really Thank you. Oh my gosh, beautiful. You're beautiful. Thank you, Tony. Elaine, gosh, you're so beautiful. Well, thank you. You're never stopping a TV anchor. So she's very smooth. She hits all of the talking points that will endear her to President Trump. What do you guys think? Do you think the BBC is going to be fair? We shall see, right? <laughs> She's definitely on to some sense of grievance, perhaps, that the country's going in the wrong direction, and they really like her for that. Can I just uh, have my lipstick real quick? I think I talked my lipstick off. To keep me in check, Carrie's team filmed the interview as well. If Donald Trump runs again in 2024, will you work and campaign for him? Oh my goodness, absolutely. Do you think he will run again? I do think he will run again, yeah. Will he win? He shouldn't have to run again because he won the last election, but he will win and, and President Donald Trump will come back with a vengeance. You talked about the 2020 election and saying that it's stolen. Do you really believe the 2020 election was stolen? Yes, absolutely. I'm not the only one who believes it. The majority of Americans believe it. Unfortunately, the media refuses to cover it. We had a million ways to cheat, and they used each and every one of them. But there was also here in Arizona a review uh, commissioned by the Republican Party that found that Joe Biden won the state. We know that hundreds of thousands of phony ballots were dropped into these drop boxes and they were counted. The media still won't believe it because they're on a mission to discredit that. But I'll tell you what, people are waking up to that election. Trump's team repeatedly challenged the result in court. But there were, what, 65 lawsuits that were dismissed? But none dismissed. of the evidence was presented. But you had even Trump you judges can't. throwing out some of the lawsuits. Evidence was not presented. Evidence will be presented, I believe, someday, hopefully soon. And this evidence has been in the hands of our Attorney General since September of 2020, before the stolen election. He sat on a mountain of evidence and did nothing. And I hope his career is over because of that. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. I mean, you can make black white if you want to. If you're going to ignore the facts, you make black white. And that's what, that's what she's doing on that issue of the election. It's so frustrating because it should be a clear issue. She has put herself very firmly in the Trump camp. It is a litmus test of loyalty to Donald Trump to say that the 2020 election was stolen in America. It is almost the only thing that he cares about.